Hi everybody, this is Symphonic Elk coming at you with my 23rd comic book haul. I just wanted to uh, give everyone an update on my subscriber contest. Um, with the exception of Thanatos Comics, I have sent off all of the prizes for people that have either sent me their address or gifted their book to someone else. Uh, so yeah, you have uh, about a week more, maybe a little bit less, um, to give me your address if you're interested in getting the book that uh, you want. Uh, otherwise, I will be sending all of the books that aren't claimed to comics for Cody. So it will go uh, to a deserving person. But uh, yeah, I'd uh, love to either put your name as the person who's giving it to, uh, to Cody or uh, actually just send the book to you. So anyway, uh, let's get started with the haul. Got just a smattering of the things that I picked up for uh, for new comic book day. I uh, picked up the Amazing Spider-Man 798, the first appearance of the Red Goblin, the second print. I uh, picked up both Thanos Annual Number 1s, the Shaw cover as well as the Dodato cover. Picked up both of the Matina covers, Justice League of America Number 29 and Suicide Squad number 40. Uh, moving on to some of the oddities. Um, I have picked up a couple of JCPenney uh, variant covers. So I got Daredevil 267. You can notice there's uh, that and that are the kind of telltale giveaways. Uh, Daredevil 273 and Wonder Man number 2. All right. Moving on to some other variant covers and such. Uh, so I picked up uh, this week the Rick and Morty Pickle Rick X-Men homage cover, The Days of Future Past. Pretty cool. Uh, I picked up Mask number three, the Grimlock variant cover. Uh, Grimlock actually isn't in the um, in the comic, and Mask is you know being made into a movie. So this cover I think is fairly hard to find. Um, I don't know that it's really worth anything, but pretty cool. Uh, picked up Grim Fairy Tales Realm War, the art germ cover. I uh, got Gideon Falls, the Jeff Lemire Comics Pro uh, variant cover. Can't believe how much uh, this is actually going for on eBay. I luckily, got it at my local shop um, and I wasn't charged very much for it. Pretty crazy. Uh, I got two David Mack covers, Justice League 52 and Justice League of America number 60. Um, they're both 1 in 10 variant covers. Pretty cool looking. I also picked up Infinity Countdown number 1, Adam Warlock, the comics pro variant. I uh, also picked this up from my local shop. I don't really think this one's going for much of anything. Whoops. If all of these will fit up here. <sighs> yeah. Alright, I got the Incredible Hulk 100 Michael Turner variant cover. This is the Green Hulk, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not the gray one. That one's the one that's worth a lot of money. I've been picking up the uh, Marvel second printing variant for these amazing Spider Mans. Um, I believe I've already showed, uh, showed uh, a couple of them. Maybe like 68, 69, and 71. Well, this is 570. I, I got this uh, Tyler Kirkham variant cover, uh, Venomized um, Loki. Just thought it looked kind of cool. I'm not a, always a huge fan of the Venomized stuff. Um, just thought this one looked interesting. I got Extraordinary X Men number one, the J. Scott Campbell variant cover. I got the Adi Granov Unknown Comics variant cover for. Infinity Countdown number two, maybe. Picked up uh, Venomize number one, the Perillo Trade Dress variant, and the Perillo Virgin variant. Got Dark Knight's Metal number six, the Matina Color Trade Dress variant, the Color Virgin variant, and the Black and White Virgin variant. And so that is it for the covers and let's move on to 
some key issues and light key issues. Uh, so this is Isola number one, the rare cover B variant seems to be quite popular. I was lucky enough to do a deep internet search and find it um, for regular price after it jumped up on eBay. Uh, this is Injustice number Injustice two number three, and it's the first appearance of Thanasia Al Ghul. This is Damian Wayne's um, sister, at least in the Injustice universe. Um, it's a CBSI spec. Not really sure if it's going to pan out if she's ever going to show up in the real DC universe, but hey, why not? Cover price. Got uh, Batman Beyond Unlimited number 18. This is the first appearance of Batgirl Beyond, and it is the last issue. I picked up Teen Titans number one. Uh, this is from the original Teen Titans. It's a premiere issue. It's not in the greatest shape, but eh, for the price I got it, not too bad. I picked up the newsstand variant of Web of Spider-Man. This is the first appearance of Normie Osborn as a child. So the first appearance, there's several appearances before this where he's a baby. Uh, this is where he's actually a child, a toddler. So I don't really know, but whatever. I picked up a really nice copy of X-Force number 11, the new stand edition. So this is the first appearance of the real Domino. I picked up Marvel Knights 2001 Millennial Visions. This is a comic ghost writer sort of prototype, so you can see. Uh, the Punisher with the Ghost Rider head. Uh, got the Eternals um, number two. This is the first appearance of the Celestials. Picked up the Eternals number 19. This is the first appearance of Zoran and is also the last issue. All right, what's next? I got only got two more books. This should be a, a quick call for me. Picked up. The Umbrella Academy Apocalypse Suite number one, the variant cover. Uh, I picked this up, it's a 9.8. Uh, I picked this up mainly because uh, Gerard Way actually did the, the cover, so it's pretty, well, that was pretty interesting. I'm using it, he's an artist, as well as uh, the lead singer for My Chemical Romance, which doesn't, I guess, exist anymore. And the last book that I got is Howard the Duck at the Ron Lim 1 in 25 variant cover is the first appearance of Gwenpool. Uh, I mean the first like, full appearance of Gwenpool. She obviously was in on the cover of uh, I can't remember someone where she's in the pool with the pink um, outline. Um, so yeah this is uh, what I have for you today. Letting my dog in. And, uh, yeah. Short haul, but not not too bad, if you ask me. And no one really did. So, yeah, I, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for uh, listening. Thanks for watching. And thanks for spending a little bit of your day with me. Have a good one. Bye.